Every filmmaking generation has its new technology, which brings about a new visual language. And what Megatrax provides is that new language, and it's kind of returned to the old, it's back to the future. That's what Megatrax provides that isn't out there right now. A little while ago, I was working on a film, a big action film, in which I wanted a military-style truck to be driving across a desert plain, which was actually filled with mines. And as the driver swerved the truck back and forth, mines would go off, the truck was supposed to go up in two wheels, and I wanted a shot of the camera sliding underneath the truck, looking up at the under chassis of the truck as it went by, and the truck came back down. But when I approached the producers about how we were going to do a shot like this, they said we were going to have to use CGI, which means the truck, the people, the whole world in the truck, were going to have to be created entirely using computer graphics. And I couldn't believe it. I mean, I couldn't believe in this day and age where we have robots being used in just about every other industry you can imagine. There already wasn't something like this out there for filmmakers to do these kind of shots. The producer said, no, nope, gotta use CGI, and CGI is super expensive. And in fact, this one shot was gonna cost the production nearly a million dollars. And that's when I finally turned to David and I said, David, there's gotta be another solution to this. So when Howard and I first started discussing this, we looked at the available camera systems that were already out there to move the camera. We looked at traditional dollies, we looked at cranes, techno cranes, steady cams, cable cams, helicopters, old school motion control rigs, and we even looked at drones that are being used to create shots for movies now. All of them do one or two things really well, but they also have their drawbacks. Some of them are either too slow or too heavy or too difficult to set up. But more than anything, none of them really offered the kind of extreme movement and high speed that we wanted. And that left us with CGI again. Which, besides the fact that it's super expensive, there's also a growing feeling of CGI fatigue with audiences today. Especially young audiences who can pick it out a mile away and just think it looks really fake. So that's when both of us really understood that we needed to create something totally new. A new way of creating eyeball-grabbing visuals. That's the moment Megatrax is born. Megatrax is the world's first semi-autonomous, high-speed robotic camera movement system that will give producers and directors the power to create never-before-seen shots from movies, television, sports events, blazingly fast, gravity-defying camera moves that once could only really be achieved using expensive computer graphics can now be captured live in real time using Megatrax. There is simply no other robotic camera system on the market today that performs like Megatrax. It will go to zero to 60 in under five seconds, which is faster than any production car on the market. It will climb straight up a 10-story building. It will travel from vertical to inverted in a single move. And it's totally programmable and repeatable. There's not a cable, wire, or power cord in sight. Using Megatracks will give filmmakers the freedom to whip, fly, and blast the camera down the track at unheard of speed. I just see possibilities for shots that you, you could never do with existing equipment, like a steady cam or a techno crane. Shots that have longer travel, or where the travel is very fast but has to be extremely accurate. By having the dolly be so incredibly lightweight and compact, it allows for scenes where the camera moves very quickly and stops fast, but there's not a lot of weight being moved around. I've never seen motion-controlled dolly that moves with such speed it's so lightweight, it's so configurable. The idea of having a rig that would allow us to do a motion control shot and integrate our actors into scenes that would really not be achievable any other way. I'd love to get my hands on it and I'd love to use it in, uh, in my work. It's incredibly exciting. It would open up a new world for us. Five years ago, we probably couldn't have done this. The technologies just didn't exist. Now, we are using the latest in lithium iron phosphate battery technology, which is capable of running the dolly up to eight hours on a single charge. Our motors are a brand new type of motor called a slotless stator servo motor that is significantly higher in performance than traditional servo motors. And we're utilizing a high-speed barcode positioning system that is the highest speed barcode reader available on the market today. This barcode reader goes up to about 22 miles an hour, and above that, we actually read the motor encoders to figure out where the, the dolly is. But it has a positional accuracy of 0.15 millimeters. But the big difference we really developed here beyond the high-performance abilities of this machine is that we put the brains on the dolly. 
While motion control systems have been around for a while, they've always had a computer sitting off to the side. This is a, an autonomous vehicle. This is a true robot. You can control it from outside, so that's why it's semi-autonomous, but the dolly knows and the dolly can make decisions on its own. And when you get the system out and you put it on the track, it's pretty much as simple as pressing a button. The thing automatically initializes. It rolls up and down the track and it learns the configuration that you've set the track up in. And it also performs a few other tests, like load tests, to figure out how heavy the camera is and how fast it can go. When it does that, it creates a mathematical model and a performance envelope that you're allowed to operate within. Then the operator is really free to operate the dolly like he wants to. You can go as fast as you want all the way down to the end of the track and you don't worry about stopping because the dolly automatically decelerates you. You don't worry about slowing down on curves because the dolly automatically decelerates. It knows, oh, I'm coming to a curve and I can only go 25 miles an hour on that curve. And so it does that automatically and it smoothly feathers these commands in so that uh, visually it, it will look just stunning. The things that enable it to be so high performance are also the things that make it extremely safe to use. This dolly is equipped with a pair of laser safety scanners on the front and back that sweep the track. If they detect an object or an obstruction on the track or the surrounding periphery, the signal bounces back and the dolly knows to immediately begin braking so that accidents can be avoided before they even have a chance of happening. But beyond all these other really cool features, what makes Megatrack so exciting for producers and directors is how easy and intuitive it is to use. I mean, the entire system can be controlled by just two people. A dolly operator, who's the one who controls the forward backwards movement of the dolly, and a camera operator who controls where the camera's actually pointing. The dolly operator is able to control the dolly by using a small handheld touchscreen control unit, where you can actually see what the camera sees on the screen. And now all he needs to do to control it is he simply moves the joystick to the left or the right. And how fast or slow he wants it to go is simply a matter of how hard he drives that joystick. You can even then choose to record, edit, or repeat a move just by simply touching a button on the screen. And just like the dolly operator, the camera operator is also completely untethered to any other part of the system. He is able to control the direction, zoom, and focus of the camera using an industry standard pan bar system. So by simply moving the handles, he is able to pan the camera to the left or to the right, to tilt up and down, or to roll the camera 360 degrees one way or the other. So when they end up working in concert together, the dolly operator and the camera operator are able to artistically move the camera any way they want at any speed they want. And they can do it amazingly without any other specialized or expensive technicians. What ties all these components together is our high performance mesh network radio system. And it has four separate streams of MIMO information, multiple in, multiple out, that basically it weaves those signals together. So if you get signal loss in any one stream, you always have the others to back you up. The signal will go through walls, it will go around corners. If you want to do an application where the dolly is too far away from the controller, you just turn on another repeater station and it automatically includes that into the mesh network. So it's a self-healing mechanism. Last year, there was over $100 billion spent worldwide in media production. And that number is only going to continue to increase as audiences demand ever more exciting ways of seeing and experiencing the world around them. And in that market, Hollywood has always been seen as a leader in technological innovation. So where Hollywood goes, pretty soon the rest of the world follows. But in order to follow, it has to be affordable. And that's what Megatrax is. Because it's not just about movies or TV shows, but also commercials, sporting events, Olympics, World Cup, rock concerts, even theme park rides. Pretty much any event that uses a camera could be enhanced by using Megatrax. If we had Megatrax available to us, then suddenly that opens up a whole world of possibilities. And the things that our, our, our directors might come up with, the things that, that the writers in the writer's room might come up with, uh, are really excite me. Hollywood is always looking for the next big thing, the next exciting way to make visuals, the next buzz. Megatracks, this is it. Next wave is Megatracks.